My name is Alice King and I'm a fourth year at LMH studying German and Spanish. Um, I recently had the opportunity to speak to Vivian Kidron, who is a director who has done um, loads of different things actually, from a documentary of the Greenham Common protests to Bridget Jones, um, to her more recent work, which is a documentary looking at how the internet is changing and how this affects children of our generation. And the really exciting news is that she's going to be a visiting fellow at LMH. Um, so I had a few, well, I had a chance to ask her a few questions and this is how it went. Um, first of all, welcome to LMH. Um, Thank you. We're really glad to have you. Um, so what are you working on at the moment? At the moment, I'm designing a whole lot of tech tools that are sort of associated with the campaign that I'm doing around children's rights online. Um, and with my other hat on, I'm making a film about Queen Victoria and her Muslim servant. OK, that's quite a spread. <laughs> um, and so what is, is there a, a united driving force between both of these projects or what, what's pushing you in these directions? I think it's always about, about stories, you know, that you see something in the world that you want to let other people know and, and somehow everything can be a story and sometimes it's a campaign, sometimes it's, it, it's a film and sometimes it can actually be about how you interact with people. But I think for me, the driver is always, I've seen something and I want the world to know. Okay, interesting. And, and I've noticed with a lot of the stories that you tell, in some way or another, young people end up being quite involved, um, particularly with your internet campaigning at the moment. Have you noticed that? Do you push yourself towards this, or does it...? Yeah, I, I actually feel that you, the young get a bad rap. And I particularly think that um, right now, there is something about political capital that means that the adults have it all, you know. So I'm actually a big believer in 16-year-old voting. I actually think kids should have agency. And I, and I think that some of the laws that we've seen happening that, that keeps them at home, the, the college fees, et cetera, et cetera, I think it's all absolute shite. <laughs> and, and we really are giving that generation a, you know, we sort of robbed the bank and left it empty. So I think that I do have a passionate feeling that young people should be given all the power they can so that they can go on and fight a much bigger battle than we can fight on their behalf. Wow, that's, um, that's a brave endeavour. <laughs> um, so what would you say to young people that are trying to make their way through this um, hostile environment? I think that... Uh, you know, that you have to look at the big picture. Don't have your nose to the ground. Have a, have a look at the big picture and see where you fit in and imagine the world the way you want it to be and imagine yourself in it, in a place that you want to occupy. And just don't settle. Don't settle. Always keep on walking forward. And is that something that you would say you've applied to yourself, to your own? Is that what's got you to where you are, do you think? I don't know where I am, but, <laughs> but I would say that that's something I learned, that's something I matured into, and I would actually probably say that if I had been more confident when I was young, if I had been more certain that that was the way you could and should behave, I would have been glad of that information. So I think maybe that's one of the reasons that I spend a lot of time around young people, campaigns around young people, and I'm very interested in what they're up to, is I think that the earlier in your life you get determined, the earlier you get the tools of, of confidence and, and the processes by which you can find your voice, the better life you lead. Wow. And um, so if you could, since you're taking a kind of reflective stance on this, if you could pick one kind of defining moment of your life, if you could pick one period or maybe one event, what, what would you pick? I think when I was very young, I took photographs. I took them from the age of 11. And when I was about 13 or 14, someone who was a professional photographer looked at my pictures. And uh, she went, you know what? You're really good. And I think that moment of having an adult who was not a parent and not a family member, but 
having an independent adult look at me and look at something I'd done and say, you're good. I think that gave me a sense that I had something to offer. And I think maybe that comes a bit late for a lot of people. And I certainly know a lot of people sort of in the, in the transitions, you know, from, from, from being a teenager to being an adult, from coming to college to being outside, they, they struggle with, you know, a bit, who am I, what am I for? And I, I just think I was very lucky that very early on someone went, you're good. And I think people need that and they need to carry it with them. And that's where you come in now. And that's where you come in with um, <laughs> being a visiting fellow LMH. Well, I hope so. I hope you are all good. Otherwise, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs>